All right, just one little white one left. You don't even try it. Welcome back to Wood Acres. Today, I think I might want to get the turkeys out into their day pen. And I'm thinking that they want to get out too. What are you doing, turkey? I think the turkey got stuck outside and uh, they're not getting any water. So, oh, they're everywhere. One just flew out of those tires. What's going on? Got turkey everywhere. Life. No, we're not. Pop, leave my birds alone. Zeet. Life. What are you doing, pigs? Still got some of you in here? A bunch of you out here. All right, turkey. You need to go home. No chickens. Get back in there. All right, you get some water. You've been stuck outside too long. You get some water, and then I'll let you guys all out. All right, ducks, hold on. So the barn is full. I'm definitely loud now with all the animals in here. What are you doing, pigs? Hey, buddies. How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing, bud? You need water, too. We're going to see if we can march these turkey out into their new pen with the help of puppy, huh? Okay, turkey. We're going to open the gate. Okay, turkey, come on out. Come here, pup. Face, zit, flesh. Take your water out there. Come on, turkey, Blythe. Come on, turkey. Make your way out. Chicken, no, no chicken. You're being bad, no. You weren't supposed to come out here yet, chicken. Back in there. Turkey, I need you all to go into your pen. Come on, turkey. Come on, turkey. Everybody into your pen. Come on, yep, yep, yep. Come on, out. Come on, turkey. There you go. Let's get some scratch in there. Maybe they can find that. What are you all doing over here? Come on. Come on. Can you fly? There you go. All of you come here. Over the fence. Over the fence. Come on, puppy, you need a help. Get 17 turkey. Come here, come here. What are you doing, bud? You just holding this one still for me? They just drop over. Jeez, get a drink. Alright, we got two trapped in the backside here. Shoe turkey. Shoe. Shoe. Stop chasing, pup. Come here. And we got all the turkey outside again. I gotta save what turkey I do have. That's why. You. Come here, chicken. Chicken. Guy or chicken. Guy or chicken. Hey. You're not supposed to be out yet, chicken. Back in there. Right, close the turkey up, pup. 
All right, just one little white one left. You don't even try it. Get in there. Okay, and now we got the chickens trying to come out. Spot's already in there. What are you doing, Spot? What are you doing? It's not your home anymore. All right, we'll let the chickens out. You were being bad this whole time. No eggs yet. All right, chickens. All right, chickens, you can come out now. Come on out, chickens. Come on, chickens. Come on, you guys gotta come out. Come on. This is Dot. Stop. And uh, Dot has a limp, so I'm going to be soaking her foot in some Epsom salts and trying to get that foot to heal up. Not sure what's wrong with it, but I think she just has a cut and I'm trying to get it to heal before it gets infected. I have the Veterasin for the wound, so I'll be using that after I get it all cleaned up with the Epsom salts. But we're gonna have to take care of Dot so she doesn't get a bad case of Bumblefoot. All right, Docs, hey. <laughs> Those ducks are so filthy and loud, but somehow they stay white, which is pretty cool. Yeah, gotta get the bowls clean. So I'm using these bowls to try and keep the ducks from wasting too much water. They gotta get in there, clean up, and get a drink from it. So I switch out these bowls every two to three times a day while they're out here. And then their feed goes over here, obviously. Now to bring the ducks out. And it is like going to be 90 degrees today. Super humid day. Up in the 90s of humidity too. So we might even get some rain later. They always call for rain when it gets this hot and humid. But I'm gonna push all these chickens back because the ducks don't like to walk past the chickens. So we get all these chickens into that center pen so we can let the ducks out. Chickens just want some scratch. So I'll get them some five grain. Here we go, chickens. Come on, eggers. Here, eggers. There, Eggers. What the hell are you doing in there, girls? Come. Get these girls out of here. Okay, so now we got the girls there. Block them off just a little bit like that. We'll just have to deal with them too. All right, ducks. <laughs> Go ahead, ducks. Got the leader right here. There he is. Bonnie, what are you doing? <laughs> Get in there, Bonnie. Stay out of the green queen. Missed a couple. Come. Come. Me, too close. Come on, duck. Come on, ducks. Ducks. There they go. Had a Pekin and a Khaki Campbell not finding their way in. Alright.
Okay, so we got the ducks in. They're enjoying their fresh water. And Mumbles the goose, of course. We got all the chickens out here in the middle, which is three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and they're laying an egg. So I'm happy with that. Got to keep counting the chickens because we are missing three from the original batch. So I don't want to be missing any more. Then we got the turkey. And the turkey have the iris little patch right here that they can go in there, forage, and uh, kind of take cover from the hawks or whatever's out here. Echo and I had to come out here and chase a hawk out because it was circling above. So we don't want that hawk coming by with the turkey. I'm hoping Mumbles, the goose, is a big enough bird out here to deter the hawk from coming in close. But uh, we'll have to see. But it's nice to get these turkey outside. The eggers get the free range to come in and out of the barn because they need to lay some eggs. So the ducks aren't quite laying eggs yet. And the turkey, they don't, they're never gonna lay eggs. They get their pen out here for now until they get bigger. Puppy, he's chasing out the barn swallows. Anything flying overhead, puppy likes to chase out. So turkey got some shade that they can go to right there. They got their feed, their water and some outside ground to forage. Hopefully they won't fly out of the four foot fence. But for now, this is what I'm working with out here on the homestead. We got the pigs all cleaned up yesterday, but it looks like it's their turn. They're out of water, out of food. What's all over your face? What's all over your face, pig? What's that poop? Ah, uh, chicken pooping in here. There you go, pig. Look how big they're getting. They are getting big, buddy. How you doing? Oh, you just made me spill it, pig. Right, get your bowls. See, this is what I don't want to do. I rearrange tires every time I come in here. Oh, pigs. Uh, Zeus, what are you doing, bud? You're the big one. Yeah, you're the big one, Zeus. Get your water bowl now. Ugh. You're on my feet, bud. You're standing on my foot, buddy. What are you doing, guy? There you go, pigs. Water and an uh, afternoon snack. Now, what are you all doing in here? Why don't you go lay me some eggs, eggers? All right, now I just have to fill up all my five gallon buckets from the rain barrel outside. So if it does rain later, then I'll have water inside and outside. But uh, also whenever I come up here later, all the water will be ready to use for the animals. They'll be out. Pigs will run out of water and the ducks will be out of water by the time I come back up here. They just waste it so much. I have been waiting for this time to get all the ducks out here, all my chickens out here, and now all the turkey are out here. Up at the barn, you got the pigs doing their thing up here, and the barn is full again with animals. But I'm real happy to get all my chickens up here with the turkey and the ducks and the pigs and fill this barn up with some life like I wanted to since the beginning of the year. So it's really nice to have them all up here now I just need to work on the infrastructure and make taking care of all these animals easier. I didn't want to have them out in the front pens like this the whole time but that's the way it's working out because it's just taking a really long time to make the infrastructure around back. You can see we do have the duck house built and up where I'm going to be having it but I still need to get the fencing done around it before I can put the ducks over there and they can actually stay the night in the duck house. That's all for this one. We got all the animals up here in the barn now and the barn is full of life. Now I just have to work on all the infrastructure to make taking care of these animals a lot easier. If you want to follow along during that process, go ahead and subscribe down below. Hit that like button before you leave. And you can see me and Echo and all my other 50 some animals here on the homestead.